sister. Listen to me. You need to calm down and make that thing disappear. Okay? I don't know how to... Hey, Gaster! <laughs> Someone had a letter for you. You weren't here, so they gave it to Asgore instead. Figured it'd get to you eventually. Do you know where Asgore is? Nope. But if I had to guess, he's probably up there, training with Roy. Hey, big guy. Is that for me? It sure is, bud. Here you go. Master, you made it here safely. That's good. Tea? Yes, please. Uh, I would love some. How have you been, living with the human wizards? I've been good, Father. They're very fond of me. And I am of them. I'm happy. Good. That's good. When you choose to apply yourself, you are capable of anything. I am not surprised you have done so well. Oh, uh, thank you. Have you been well, Father? Hmm, well enough. I do my best for the people I serve. There's a certain satisfaction that comes with that. Oh, that's good, I suppose. John and her family, however. They will never let me forget how they took my old position as military leader. I remember her. She's the bird monster with chroma magic, like yours. And like yours. Anyways, enough talk of such things. Your title is Royal Scientist, but I hear there is more to it than that. You're correct. The Council doesn't have a bravery wizard right now. So Asgore and I both do what we can to help, when we're needed. Excellent. The Council protects the weak from the powerful who might wish to hurt them. And you, Gaster, are the strongest of them all. Uh, thank you. I imagine you don't want your friends to be hurt if they need your help in combat. Do you train your magic then? I, I do, yes. Wonderful. If I'm not being too demanding, would you like to step outside and show me what you've learned? Yes, Father. We will do some basic exercises. Nothing intensive. You have access to all seven traits, Caster. As do I. As always, I would like you to focus on the many things you can do with your gift. Movement often creates openings. Do what you must to cast your spells, but do not move your feet. Counter my attacks only with your magic, and don't let my magic reach the tree behind you. Okay. Let us begin. <gasps> huh? 
almost good. You moved. I'm sorry. Again. When you closed your eyes, I could have easily struck you with a second attack. Uh, sorry again. It's okay, Gaster. You're used to facing those wizards with one trait. I can use seven at once. I know it's hard, but I believe in you. You have an answer to everything I can do. Okay. I'll try my best, Father. struggle. This should be easy for you. It is a shame you refuse to apply yourself. Father, we've had this talk before. The monster you want me to be isn't who I want to become. Is it not? You're on the Wizard Council, Gaster. Your friends' lives depend on your ability to protect them. The monster I want you to become can protect them. Yours simply watch helplessly as they died. Too weak to fight back. You want to say something? Speak up. I said... Speak up! Answer me. I do want to protect my friends. I just don't want to do it your way. My way? I don't think you understand. Do you think my way is too cruel? <laughs> the world is cruel, Gaster. It will kill you if you are not strong enough to withstand it. I'm simply showing you your future. Will you be defeated? Or will you fight back? Defend yourself! Is this truly all you have? When your wizard friends die, it will be because you couldn't protect them either. I've had enough of this. You don't love me, Father. You just wish I was cruel like you. But I've had enough. I finally had I just want you to love me back. I see. 
I don't know where I failed to raise you. You could be more. So much more. Until you learn to confront the monster inside yourself, my son, you will never be a warrior. Father. I won't ask you to visit me again. If you want to become something more, you will call for me.